is up guys, Val here with another Wizard 101 video. So today we're going to be bringing you all of the stat boosting amounts in the game at this moment. So we're going to go through all of them and uh, if you guys don't know what stat boosting mounts are, they're basically mounts you can equip that have 40% speed boost and they also grant other stats that are added to your, you know, your character statistics. Whether it be power pip chance, uh, pierce, damage, all that good stuff. So we're gonna go through all of them and show you where you can get them, what bundles they're in. Some of them are actually farmable too, so let's go ahead and get this started. Alright, so first up we have the Crystal Unicorn. Now the Crystal Unicorn is available from the Jewel Crafters bundle. I think this one is still available on the Wizard101 website for purchase. And uh, if you're lucky, you can find them at GameStop still, just on the card. It's uh, I think it's the $29.99 uh, bundle deal and this mount right here grants 2% uh, Accuracy universally to all of the schools really cool mount and it's also diable So, you know, there's not a lot of mounts in the game that are diable. I, I wish that wasn't the case You know, I feel like everything should be diable, but you know, that's just me All right, let's move on to the next one now This next one is probably my favorite mount in the game Overall, I just I use it all the time on my characters just because first off just because of the stat it gives and second off Just because it's diable and it looks really cool, and I think they have this mount in pirate 101 as well um, I've seen it there a couple times now. This mount is called the clockwork courser and It is also available in one of the bundles the cuckoo clock gauntlet which is available I think at Target and then um I think you can buy it online through Walmart, but I'm not completely sure. Uh, this bundle is kind of hard to find nowadays, but it's they're, they're out there. I've, I actually went to Target a couple weeks ago, and I saw a couple of these still lying around. So you still can get this mount. It's just not that easy, you know. It has to be in stock at the store that you're looking at. So the Clockwork Courser, that's the second one on the list. All right, third up, we have uh, one of the newer mounts in the game. The Desert Racer. Now, the Desert Racer grants 2% Power Pip chance added to your character's stats. And it looks really cool. It's like a, it's like a fox, chicken, hyena looking thing. I don't know. It's, like a, it's a hybrid of a bunch of different animals. And it's really cool looking. Kind of like a peacock on the back. Anyways, this one is available from the Mirage Raiders bundle, which is available online on the Wizard 101 website if you want to buy it there. Uh, I think you can also find it at GameStops. It's a really cool mount. I, I enjoy using it. Um, when I'm running my healing set, I'll use it just for that extra power pit percent chance because my chance is really low. And, you know, it's always useful to have. It's, especially, let's say, you know, you're at 98%. You need that extra 2% to hit 100 so that you never get a fail pip in PvP. So it's definitely useful. All right. Next up. This one is used by a lot of people. I think this is one of the most used uh, stat boosting mounts just because of what it gives. Um, this is from the from a bundle that is Polarian themed or Polaris themed. It is the Battle Narwhal available from the Polarian Explorers bundle. I am not sure if this one's still available anymore online. I think they took it down. I could be wrong though, so you can go double check on that. But the Battle Narwhal grants 2% damage universally. So it doesn't matter what school you are, the Battle Narwhal will give you 2% damage increase. And it's really cool looking. I'm actually, uh, let me let me hop on it right now to give you guys a, a look, see how it, how it moves. I love the animation on this thing, especially the jump animation. Look at this. It does a little spin in the air, and it's just the coolest thing ever. It's a very well-designed mount, I think. All right, so next up is the Gulcher. Now, there are seven of these. This is just one of them. Uh, let me go ahead and put it on so you guys can see what it looks like when I'm moving. So this is the Ice Gulcher. There's a Gulcher for each one of the schools, and all of them give 3% damage increase to that school, except for the Balance one. I think the Balance Gulcher only gives 2%. Um, but this is a really awesome mount to have. You know, it's the highest damage boosting mount in the game if you get the one for your school and these are not available from a bundle actually you can only get this from a pack and the pack you get it from is actually my favorite pack in the game the gulchers horde pack and the reason i love this pack so much i mean first off yeah you know you get all all the gulcher mounts they're they're freaking amazing 
But second off, you know, they drop the boots, the Gulcher boots, which are awesome at max level for PvP and questing alike. So this is the Gulcher mount, guys. So it doesn't matter what school you are, you can get your school-specific Gulcher. Uh, you're, you're probably not going to get it the first couple of tries in the packs, though. You'll probably get a, a Gulcher from another school. So it, it is kind of a, a struggle to get the Gulcher that you want. But once you get it, that extra 3% damage is really going to make a difference in, you know, PvP and questing and all of that. All right, so let me put this back here. Let's go ahead and get off the Gulcher so I can show you guys the next one. Oh, where'd I put them? There we go. All right. So this next mount, I actually just got this mount in our last video. You guys saw me open that pack. I'll, I'll put that video at the end of the, or at the end of the video so you guys can check it out. Anyways, uh, this is actually one of my favorite mounts of the game now. Also, you know, I like the Clockwork Corsa, but I also really love this one too. So they come pretty close. Um, the Waddling Witch Hut. Uh, this mount is also only available in a pack, and the pack you get it from is... Where is it? Okay, now I can't find it. Ah, here it is. The Witch's Horde pack. So, that's the only pack it's available in, and I think that's the only permanent mount you can get from that pack. I could be wrong, though. There might be, like, a broom or something as well, but that's how you get the Waddling Witch Hut. And basically what the Waddling Witch Hut grants is 2% power pip chance, just like... The Desert Racer. So they're pretty much the same thing. They just look different. Here, let me get on him so you guys can see me waddle. I love I, I love the animation on this this mount. It's so goofy looking. It's great. It's like a little chicken on the bottom, and then he has one eye. All right. So we're getting we're getting to the last ones, guys. Here we go. Now this one right here, the Vulpine Avenger, is probably the newest out of all of these. It was just released about a month or two ago in one of the newest bundles in the game. And uh, the name of that bundle is the Avalon Outlaws Bundle. Uh, you can get that at GameStop. I don't think you can buy it online on the Wizard 101 website yet, but definitely GameStop you can find them there. And basically what the Vulpine Adventure does, it, it grants 2% pierce. So just like the Clockwork Courser, the 2% pierce, that's actually my favorite stat to have boosted on a character just because I do so much PvP and Pierce is extremely important in PvP, I think. Now let me uh let me pick him up so you guys can see the lock and animation. It's a really tiny mount too, but it's it's, it's it's just right. I don't know, I just really like it. It's a cute little mount. The big fluffy tail. And then here's if you scroll over, there's two percent right there. Alright. Now, the final mount. You can actually farm for this one. Um, it's called the Mammoth Mini. Now, you can either purchase this from the crown shop. So let me let me go ahead and put him on so you guys can see what he looks like. So the Mammoth Mini. You can either get him from the crown shop or you can farm a boss called the Warlord Minak. Minak, Minak, uh, well, however you say his name. He's uh, a boss in Borealis Peaks in the Jeweled Slopes. So you can just keep farming him, and you might get lucky and get the Mammoth Mini. Now, the Mammoth Mini is an extremely useful mount, uh, because the stat that it gives, it's the only one that has it. Uh, as of now, it gives 2% outgoing to heal. So this is perfect if you're playing the support role, if you're a life wizard, a balance wizard, trying to heal your teammates. It's great to have that extra 2%. It can, you know, it'll really make a difference. Now, the other way that you can get this mount is just by buying it from the crown shop. Now, it is pretty pricey. I mean, it's it's 9,000 crowns. That's that's a lot. So, I definitely recommend farming for this one as opposed to, um, you know, just buying it from the crown shop. Now, I, I want to answer a question that a lot of people ask us during the live streams, con you know, concerning these stat boosting mounts. And that is, a lot of people think that, you know, right when you step into the arena and you don't have your mount equipped, that those stats don't carry over, but they actually do. So as long as you have one of these mounts equipped before you step into the PvP arena, you will still have the stats granted from these these mounts. So whether that be the 2% pierce, the 2% power pip chance, accuracy, any of that. Anyways, those were all of the stat boosting mounts. Let me Let me set them all out here. So you guys can see them all in order again. Alright. Which one are we missing? 
I can't find them now. Ah, here we go. Alright, I think that's all of them. So there you have it, guys. All the stat boosting mounts. Once again, you know, I only have one of the Gulchers here, but there are seven of them. I'm probably never going to get all seven of them. I don't really want all seven of them because that that's a lot of Gulchers. But um, I hope this helped you guys, you know, if you are trying to find one of these awesome stat boosting mounts. And if you're not, just so that you know what they are as of now in the game. Now, I'm sure King's Isle is going to add more stat boosting mounts to the game. I mean, it's going to happen. I think all the future bundles from now are going to have at least, you know, one stat boosting mount. Or, or you know, some of them have the 50% to speed, but definitely they'll have some stat boosting mounts. Um, also, another thing. They need to add one with energy. I know a lot of people have been talking about that. You know, just a mount that gives pet energy, like just two maybe. Like, it, it would be really useful, you know, if you if you sign off offline and you just hop on on your energy mount and it'll give you two extra energy. And I mean, I know it's not a lot, but it's still a cool extra stat to have, I think. So hopefully, maybe in one of the future bundles, they'll do that. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did enjoy it, if it did help you in any way, and, and, ah, in any way, excuse me, be sure to smack that like button and uh, subscribe for more content. And we will see you in the next one. This is Pal signing off. Peace out, guys. I got away from you, away from you, and I ain't never going back there. If it's the last thing I'll ever do, I'll ever do. But now it's all I be, because it's over and you're dead to me. You just a memory that I can't break, but I can't shake.